Two flat tires and a tow truck bill. That's what an Austin man says he's left with after running over a scooter. He claims it fell from the bed of a truck and into the path of his car. And tonight, that man tells Patrick Perez he wants the scooter company to pay up. Quita, this is a photo JJ Casillo took from the side of the road. You can see the damaged tire here and the lime scooter right behind it. He says it fell out of a juicer's truck. That's someone who charges scooters to full battery overnight, but that juicer kept driving and Castillo wants to track them down. I'm not a customer. Um, I was just an innocent driver driving to the store. JJ Castillo was on the I-35 southbound frontage road between Old Torf and Woodward Wednesday night when a truck got in front of him. I noticed they had a, a lot of uh, scooters in the back of their vehicle. Then he says something fell out. A second later, uh, I hit something and my car started kind of driving erratically and, and unsafely. And at that point, I, I, I kind of knew what was happening. Castillo got out of the car and tried to flag down the truck driver. I looked like they were going to turn around, or at least park on this corner, and then they actually, then they just left. Left Castillo on the side of the road with two flat tires and this. I finally saw it is exactly what I thought it was going to be. It was a, a damaged scooter off to the side of the road. That lime scooter is now a piece of evidence parked inside his home. I knew it was very important that I hold on to this um, because someone needed to be held accountable. It, it, it got some damage um, from being run over, but I feel like my car got uh, more damage. Damage to the tires, the wheels, and maybe even the undercarriage. Castillo filed a claim with Lyme and a report with Austin police. He doesn't think he should have to pay for the repair bill. You know, whether someone meant to do it or not uh, doesn't change the fact that it did happen and that there was damage to a, a, an innocent individual. And Lime wouldn't give us a comment for this story, but confirms it is working with Castillo to find a solution. The company also says it does have a way of tracking who picked up that scooter Wednesday night, and it is cooperating with police. In the studio tonight, Patrick Perez, KVU News.